So, good morning everyone, my name is Laurie Points. I'm going to talk to you today about my PhD, working with robotic assistants as tools for droplet optimization. So, as I'm sure a lot of you know, research in a lab can be very monotonous, doing a lot of tasks over and over again, a long time in between those eureka moments. I work with oil droplets and look what they do when they go into water. So I have to make up an oil mixture, take some of it out, put it in a dish and watch what happens. Do the droplets move around? Do they divide? Or in most cases, do they sit there and do nothing? Wouldn't it be great if I could get a robot to do some of my experiments for me? Wouldn't it be even better if that robot could use artificial intelligence to do some experiments maybe I didn't think of and to discover new things? We really hope that through our research into these robotic platforms, researchers can have a lot more time to think about the big ideas and what their results mean rather than doing all these monotonous, boring tasks. So what does this involve? Stage one, planning and design. What chemistry do I want to use and what do I want to do with it? How can I get a robot to do that? So think about what chemicals, what am I going to do with them, and then design a platform to do that. Then experiment. Set the robot going. It might do 10 experiments, look at what happened, and then think what was good, what was bad, and do more like the good ones. Or if everything was bad, it will do something completely new and different. In the meantime, I can think about what other experiments I want to do, get creative, and think about my results. Finally, analyze. Me and the robot, what did the droplets do? Why did they do it? Which ones were best? How do we know which one's best? What are we actually looking for? So one example, if we could get a droplet to bind a drug, move to somewhere else and release that drug, it could be useful for targeted drug delivery. Similarly, if it could move around a dish whilst it's sucking in a pollutant, it's really useful for pollutant removal and water purification. Finally, because it can handle lots of different chemicals very, very accurately, it's very useful for formulation chemistry. So things like paints or soaps, it can optimise what the best mixture is for that. And that's not all, though. Using the artificial intelligence, the robot can do different experiments to what the chemist might think of. So not only does the chemist have time to analyse their results and think about what new experiments to do, the robot itself might find new discoveries. And this is really the key. It's not just about the oil droplets, it's the robotic platform. And that can be applied to kind of any area of research or chemistry. So I think a robotic assistant might soon be coming to a lab near you. Thank you.